Lawrence Fishburne has had a long and extraordinary career, first coming to our attention in Apocalypse Now at the age of 15. Since then, he starred in films such as Boys in the Hood, What's Love Got to Do With It, and The Matrix, not to mention award-winning roles on Broadway and television. But now he is doing something different. He's written and is performing in a one-man show about his own life at the Perelman Arts Center in Lower Manhattan. It's called Like They Do in the Movies. For tonight's keynote, Stephanie sat down with him to talk about the show and why now. So you have been in movies, in television shows, you have won multiple Emmys, you've been nominated for an Oscar, you've won a Tony. Why a one-man show? Why a solo show? Yes. Um, because believe it or not, um, there are things in this show, in this solo show that I've written that I get to do um, that I wouldn't be able to do anywhere else in the way that I'm going to do them. Um, there are things that I um, get to share with the audience that I haven't shared with people before. Um, and it feels like the most appropriate way for me to do it. You describe it, you say, they are the stories and lies people told me and the lies I've told myself. Yeah. Like what? Like, um, I used to have this lie that I told myself oh. uh, that I think probably a lot of people can relate to, which is that I was the center of the universe. You are. <laughs> Yeah. Not even close. <laughs> Just this tiny speck in, in, in all of this. Yeah. yeah. You started writing this 20 years ago. Yeah, about 20 years ago. Why now? Why did you decide this is the moment to share my I, story? I didn't really decide that. It just sort of organically happened. Uh, I was encouraged to write a one-man show. I didn't want to do it as an actor. The writer in me did it anyway. I showed it to somebody who said, oh, oh, okay, great. But I didn't get the message that what he was actually saying was, it's great, you should do that. I thought he was saying, don't quit your day job. So I stuck it in a drawer. Because it's really vulnerable. Yeah, so I stuck it in a drawer and it sat there for 15 years and then I pulled it out and I was like, hey, this, ooh, hum. And then I thought, hmm, maybe I should add some personal stuff to this. Um, and really make myself as vulnerable as possible. That's a good idea. So that's kind of where I'm at. How much pressure did you put on yourself? Because you have always said diverse voices, diverse stories right. matter, characters that you've right. played, right? Whether we're talking about the dad in, in Boys in the Hood, sure. Malcolm X, uh, Mandela. Sure. Have you felt a responsibility to be that example? To Absolutely. Be I feel like I've always tried to um, represent uh, the group that produced me in the best possible way. I've tried, I mean, listen, black stories have been a theme of my work, of my life, all my life. I haven't been black half my life. I've been black all my life. And I um, understand this idea that you can't be what you can't see. And so as an actor, I have the opportunity to... Uh, perform, obviously, to entertain, yes, but also to educate, to inform, to influence, to inspire. And so that's what I've tried to do. You have played heroes and, and you've played villains. Yes. What do you prefer? I, I just like to play, honey. I just, I'm a player. I like to play. It's not about whether it's heroes or villains. It's about playing human beings. It's about playing characters and really, really showing their humanity. Well, in doing this project, you cover a lot. Right? Yes. You dig deep and you talk about your personal life. Yeah. You talk about your personal challenges. Yeah. How did you make that decision and why? Because that, just standing on a stage for two hours and saying, love me, audience, that's vulnerable enough. Yeah, But it you're is. saying, love I'm saying all some, of me, the good, I, the bad, and maybe the other. I'm just exposing some things about myself that people would not suspect. I, I'm, uh, and I felt like that was the necessary thing to do at this point in my life. You know, I am, uh, I am someone who has lived on the planet for 60 some odd years. I have had a great life. I have had an incredible career. And I've had my challenges like everybody else. I, I have, you know, nobody gets out of here alive and nobody gets out of here without some kind of struggle. 
without learning something. Um, we're here to learn, I think. So I'm sharing some of the lessons that I've learned. And I think the largest lesson, the most important one anyway, is acceptance and forgiveness. Of yourself? Of everyone. Then how did you decide what of yourself, your personal struggles to share? It was very simple. I just took a look at my life and went, oh, yeah, I need to share this. What has that done for you personally? I'm about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to find out. Is your true love in being a show person theater? You're, you're coming back to theater after doing theater so much. Theater is church for actors. You know, they say that uh, television is the writer's medium. Directing is the film is the uh, filmmaking is the director's medium, and theater is the actor's medium. How much so of I'm an honor? Church. How much of an honor for you? Of all the things you've done, how do yeah. you feel about this project? I'm super excited. I get to be back here in Lower Manhattan, where I started working in the theater as a boy, um, telling my story. Um, telling some other stories that people are not really going to expect. Um, and hopefully they'll enjoy them. So. Are you scared? Am I scared of what? Putting yourself out there no. in this way. No. Right? When you have the big screen, you're no. protected. Now, no. you're going to be able to see the eyeballs of everyone listening to your That's right. personal story. That's right. You're not scared of that? No. There's no reason to be afraid of a bunch of people who've come to see you. One thing that we... <laughs> that's fair, fair. They, they, they pay the money. They're interested. There's no reason to be afraid um, of that. Well, there you go. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. You're welcome, Thank Stephanie. You.